Hey guys, it's Amber here with Gear Up, and we are continuing our tactical plate carrier build out series video. Uh, and today we are going to be discussing probably the most common question I get in the store beyond figuring out your plate carrier. What kind of protection should I get? What are the different levels of protection? And what makes the most sense? So it's important to note here that I am going to go in order from least protection to highest form of protection. Uh, note that anything that I say after the other plate. So for instance, I will start with the level 3A plates. Um, when I get to the three plates, everything 3A stops, level three stops. Everything level three stops, three plus stops. Everything three plus stops, level four stops, okay? So that's important to know. It's also important to know when it comes to body armor, um, there's no fully guarantee. I do recommend when you are purchasing body armor that you get something that has the NIJ uh, standard stamp on it. Companies that go through this spend thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars to send their products through there to ensure it is tested efficiently. Anybody can make steel and ballistic plates these days. The plates that have that stamp are going that extra mile to ensure that you get the protection that you are deserving of and that you hope to have. In addition, although they are all created to stop bullets and um, protect you and whatnot, it also varies on the distance. So if you're shot close range by a armor piercing round, it should stop it, but there's always that chance that it couldn't. So it is always important if you are facing this kind of firepower to create a safe distance for yourself um, so that you are kind of in the clear and safe. So before I get started, I want to show you most bulletproof vests, most get-ups all start with Kevlar like this. This is actually really lightweight. This has 3A protection. 3A protection gets you the protection from all handguns up to a 44 Magnum. We had a comment on a video asking about knife piercings in the UK as that's their biggest threat. It'll also protect you from that. So if you're looking for protection for pistol rounds and you are also looking for protection from cuts and blade piercings, 3A ballistic plates will get the job for you done. Um, in addition, they are extremely lightweight. Pretty much anybody can kind of throw these in the plates and be good to go no matter your shape. It's going to add a little bit of weight to it, but nothing overbearing where you're going to be just kind of out of breath and whatnot. So that covers the 3A. Next, level three plates. So before I get into the level three plates, I got to show you, we have two options here. This one's three pounds. This is insane. This is literally insane for body armor that protects what I'm about to get into telling you what it protects. So level three body armor. This is our steel plates from AR500. Get you some protection from rifle rounds. So when you get to the more automatic and body armor piercing stuff, it's not really going to do the job, but basic 5.56 five, by 45 and then 7.62 by 39, these plates will protect. Um, that's a typical AK rounds of the 7.62 by 39. And then uh, in addition, it will stop some piercing rounds made by the M193 and M80 rounds of that nature. And then in addition, believe it or not, these will stop 7.62 by 51, which is typically put into M14s. And then it also stop rounds from the 308 Winchester, which is more so like a hunting type rifle. So this is a good way to go. It is heavy. This is not light, not overbearing heavy, but I think it's in the six to seven pound uh, range. Is a good way to go if you're needing some basic protection for rifle rounds and you want to save money. This one's only $79.99, so it's a great price point. And you obviously know your budget better than anybody else. The comparison, and this one's heavier, is the three plus plates. Now I gotta I gotta put these down because even though I worked out today, um, carrying both of these entire video is gonna take a toll. So the three plus, great level of protection as well. A little bit more on the higher end from a price standpoint, you're looking at the 100 and between 120, 130, some 150 type range. Um, and then these are gonna stop everything that I mentioned prior with the level three ammo. And in addition, 
The 30 by 06 Springfield ammo will be stopped by this. The M855 green tip piercing ammo gets stopped by this, which is huge. And then the M80 ball rounds will also get stopped by uh, the level three plus ammo. So this is a great way to go. It's obviously gonna all depend on budget and what you're comfortable with spending um, as well. But as far as better protection, obviously the three plus as we go higher is gonna get more protection for you guys. And then the best, the granddaddy of them all. So no Rose Bowl, but the level four ceramic plates. Stops everything I mentioned above. In addition, the 762 ammo by 63 mm, which is body piercing ammo used in ARs, as well as the 762 by 51 M61A, which is also armor piercing ammo, level four ceramic can and will stop. Stops all the 556, but in addition to the 556 ammo that I already mentioned, the 556 by 45 M995 M61, which is specialized armor piercing ammo, level four ceramic will stop. In addition, you will get stoppage from 30 by 06 M2 AP ammo, which is used by machine guns. And then you also get the 338 Lapua Magnum sniper rounds that will stop this. So I'm, I'm reading from my little cheat sheet here because I didn't know all this, to be quite honest with you. So I did do a little bit of research, but these are used in combat situations by the military. If you want the most protection you can get, this is hands down the way to go. Other ones are great. You got to figure out in your scenario, what do you want? Do you want something just basic to get you some protection? If God forbid somebody pulls out a gun on you, level three is fine. It's lightweight, easy to carry, something you can conceal and carry at all times. Are you thinking more active shooter situation? What's your budget? Level three will do great. Probably I would opt for a level three plus, but you also have to know what kind of shape you're in. You don't want to be carrying this massive amp body armor where you can't even move and it's hard for you to move and you're out of breath and you know whatever it kind of defeats the purpose so which brings me to my next point regardless of the body armor you're getting either get the body armor and train if you don't have the budget right now and you're in a training situation get you some weighted plates these are these are nearly six pound weighted plates we have ones that are even lighter which kind of gives you the feel of like the level 3a body armor Get you some weighted plates, go out there, put it in your backpack, put it in your plate carrier vest, get yourself some experience moving with this stuff. So in a situation, you are not shell shocked and just out of breath and dying. So um, that's what I got for you guys as far as body armor is concerned. Drop a comment below. I'm sure I made some mistakes. I always do. Um, and I usually hear about it. But hit me with that like, comment below, subscribe. It is much appreciated. We sell all of these online at our website at www.gearupfl.com. And anything over 50 bucks. So all of these will ship for free. So if you're out of state and need to order some of these, we ship everything for free if it's over $50. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope everybody is staying safe and has a blessed day out there. And uh, let me know your thoughts as we continue on with the series and if there's anything else you'd like for me to touch on. So thanks again, guys. Hit us with a subscribe.